Today I want to talk about installing the proper pipe for irrigation. There's schedule 20 or 200 thin wall and schedule 40 and also schedule 80. They all have different thicknesses. On your pressure side, you should always go with schedule 40. That's the thickness. That's the side that carries constant pressure on all the way up to your irrigation valves. On your non-pressure side, which is piped in for your heads, you have a choice to go with schedule 40 or 200 thin wall. <clears throat> Installing thin wall, you must be careful not to have too much glue or not wipe your pipe. You always want to make sure you wipe your pipe. The glue will actually weaken the pipe where it's over glued at. As you can see, this is 200, which is the weakest link out of the three on this repair. Schedule 80 on a sprinkler system you want to install on anything coming up above the ground, such as a riser. My recommendation is spend the money and go with Schedule 40 on your pressure and non-pressure lines. It's well worth the extra money. On an average residential yard, you may spend $75 to $125 more to pay for the uh, Schedule 40. The 200 or thin wall is rated at 200 PSI. This is rated at 450. It's well worth the extra money. Schedule 80 is rated at 650 to 950 PSI. You do not have to worry about wiping the pipe with Schedule 80. And really you don't have to with Schedule 40, although I do recommend always wiping the pipe. So for your irrigation system, Schedule 40 is definitely going to be the winner. 200 is going to be what your most of your uh, new construction houses are going to be because they want to save every bit of money. And unfortunately, anything under a bind or anything uh, from water hammer to being under a bind to several different factors.